Hi guys, it's Ian. I'm working on a tutorial for you to show you how to use Ku Recorder um, to record data files for the Core Samples project. So I hope I can walk you through this easily and that you can access it um, because I'm not sure when we can all be in, in the lab at the same time. So the first thing is we have to open Ku Recorder. Um, there it is, Google Recorder 7.7. .7. It's uh, in the same folder as cdendro, or it's in the Cybis folder. There's cdendro and Q Recorder, so that's the one we want. I already got it open. I'm going to open an image file for new coordinates. So, in there, I'm going to go to the core processing folder. I'm going to go to the core scans the 1200 DPI ones. For the, purpose of the uh, purposes of this example I'm going to use a low, a small file just so it doesn't uh, crash the computer. Okay, so this is all good. We want 1200 DPI value, sorted data. See here it says Dendro. So we've got our tools up here. We've got the data picking mode want to make sure it's um, this one is selected. Here we've got the help line and there's the pith distance. To start out start off we're going to use a help line and we're going to set it. I'm going to do I'm going to do this one just for example's sake. So we just set it right down the middle. And then we can do auto place. So auto place is up there. So we click that. And that's going to automatically set our data points for us. Calibrated to the to the to the um, to the image, so you want to do it over areas that are um, more or less homogeneous. Okay, so now we've done all our auto placing, so we're going to go back to the oldest part, or the, um, I guess the youngest part of the tree, next to the bark. And we're going to set our first data point, our start point, right there, at the outermost part of the tree. This uh, dialog box will open up. Then we need to make sure that we do this, that we have this be the start point. See here it says 0 and this says 194. So that means these are out of order. So we need to click. So while this is selected, while it's dark, it's bolded, we're going to make sure we click on this one, make it the start point. And then we're going to fill in the gaps for everything the auto, auto place missed. And this is not not, it's not always exactly clear where the rings are, but we're just going to do our best to sync where the rings are and fill in the gaps. So now you can see why we needed that 1200 DPI resolution.
So if you get to a ring that's where it shouldn't be, we do this um, select a point mode, and then you click on it and you press delete. You press delete on your keyboard, or you can go up here and uh, and click delete kill selected point. So that takes that out. So the more clear the image is, the easier the autoplace function will pick up the rings. So here now we have to decide how far away the pith was. And we go up here and we click the pith, set distance to pith. And this comes up. And this is all fine. We say OK to find now. We have to decide how far away the pith was. And we can't really tell, but we can look at the rings and look at the curvature in the rings that we can see and try and estimate. And generally, we probably want to be conservative because we want to probably say it's closer if we don't know. So I'm going to say it's there. Um, and I'm going to say OK. So now we've recorded the data for this tree. We just think that it's uh, 227 plus 4, so 231 years old. And we're going to save this data as a uh, coordinate file. So we go to File, Save Coordinate File. We want to make sure we save it in the right folder. So we'll go to Course, uh, we'll go to Core Processing in our Dropbox file, and I created a folder called Dentro Files. So we're going to save it there. We're going to save it in this format, where we have the um, the plot number and then the tree number. So we're going to have, in this case, it'll be DF5 dash two five one. Okay. Now we're going to close the coordinate file, but leave the image file open. And now we can start on the next core. You can see in this one that they didn't hit it right on, so we're going to have a lot of distortion when we get towards the pith. So it goes. So that was pretty clean, so it picked up almost all the rings. Hmm, it's starting to get a little bit messy over here. I'm going to delete these. And I usually try to curve downwards if we're, if we're uh, if the pith is not on not centered, so that we have as as little distortion as possible. Okay. 
Okay, that looks right good. I'm going to put in a couple extra years because again there was all that distortion. Just bump it up a little bit. And there we have it. So that tree is 150 years old about. Save coordinate file. DF5. One five nine. Whoopsie. There it is. Okay. So we can close. We can close the coordinate and in image files when we're done. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.